Hey YouTube Land Tech Hunters here coming at you with more Masters of the Universe cartoon collection aka the filmation style. I, I do wonder since it is cartoon collection will they dive delve into other cartoons from the Masters of the Universe as in like the 2000X cartoon and maybe do new adventures in this sort of style it would be kind of interesting to see i know new adventures is kind of a niche market because there's a lot of people hated it a lot of people disliked it and there was a there was a small fan base for it um i did like the designs of the mutants from it but i'm getting off course this is a review for web store of the evil henchmen of skeletors um unfortunately or fortunately whichever way you want to look at it depending on your look or outtake this is the european ver version of the card back so where the us version of the card back would have webster and then you have evil spider creature from whatever or spider race something whatever the kind of subline would be for him again same on the back of the packaging you have images of the figure doing stuff in the U us version is posing different battle positions is usually printed on it but this is all blank Webster, Evil and Clawful and Spike Horror again are on the back. This little wave only includes Webster and Evil Lynn from the cartoon collection. I will stress that because there is two other figures which are not from the cartoon collection. And that is Reptiliax. Reptiliax, I think is how you pronounce his name. He's a Snake Man character, a kind of new slash slash old concept character. And there's a reissue of Orko and I don't believe there's any change there have been any running change between the new version and the old one unless maybe they changed his because the old version of orko had a base that had like a big purple kind of smoke effect on it they may have changed that to just be clear i'm not too sure i haven't seen it in stores and i wasn't too pushed to order it online to get it so because i already have normal orko and i don't really need a second one orko has never been a favorite character of mine he's all he's in the same line as narf from thundercats he's the annoying sidekick comedic sidekick that everyone loves to hate so i know there's people out there that do love orko and i just never liked the, the trolling so, sort of stuff even when they replace him in the movie with uh what, what was his name oh not grizzlor um oh i can't remember his name now billy barty's character from the live action movie where they got uh Gwildor, yeah where they replace orko essentially with Gwildor because doing orko in the live action movie for at that time was probably too cost effective or too cost prohibitive with the special effects at the time which is kind of weird anyway on to the figure so there is a image from the cartoon episode that it is from that this particular accessory that it comes with because he only comes with one accessory unlike the origins version that comes with a blaster this guy doesn't come with the blaster because he never i don't think he used it in the cartoon but he does have a there's a picture of tila i can't remember the catwoman name character she does have one i believe and then it is up in the corner it just says includes a comic book which is the same comic book all the four figures come with and it has no speech bubbles, which I will get into in a minute, but it shows him stealing the, I'm going to call it the Jade Jaguar, but I don't think it's a Jaguar, I think it's something else. But in the comic book, this is the one that comes with him. You have him, um, basically, Skeletor gets the Staff of Change, he uses Staff of Change to change, change Webster into this creature, uh, cat-like creature. He basically sneaks into this place, lets Evelyn and Skeletor in, they combine their powers, turn this statue into a living creature thing so it can destroy this tower, Grayskull, something, I'm not too sure. He-Man and Crow turn up, they get turned into different creatures by Evelyn using the Staff of Change. He-Man manages to deflect her blast back at her and he manages to get the staff uses the staff to turn Skeletor into a butterfly and then uh re changes everyone back to normal changes the big cat creature back into the statue and you don't see what happened to webster in this he seems to have disappeared by the time he get leaves them into the thing and that is pretty much the story in a nutshell with no speech bubbles so you don't know what they're saying that aside 
we will get into Webstar himself. So, as I said, he does come with the one accessory, which is this Jaguar-like statue thing. I would, uh, it's not exactly a Jaguar, because it looks like these are more horns than ears. But it is kind of cat-like and Jaguar-like, so I'm going to just call it a Jade Jaguar, because it's easier. Um, but I do believe in the cartoon episode it's based on, it does have a specific name. I do not remember which one it is and what the name of that thing is. So he does come with his string backpack, just like the um, original toy. It is a different backpack, so it is, right, wind up his string part. So it just kind of pulls out. It does, um, use a bit of spider web because I was throwing it around the place and trying to get it hooked on. I did manage to loosen this string on him. At one stage, you'll have to retie this, so just be wary of that. Because if you do loosen this and this falls off, and you're turning this and re uh, basically you're bringing this into the body of them, it is possible you could basically suck the entire string in and then not be able to get it back out again. So just be wary of that. I'm not, I haven't taken off his harness piece, it you may be able to access this from the inside with this piece off. There is just two clips down here that seems to hold on the harness, but I haven't been bothered to take that off. So he has, I think, I believe for the most part, he is exactly a replica of the Skeletor body that we got for, well, I haven't picked him up, but the Skeletor of this filmation style universe, because the original, if I bring him in here, the original origins, there is origins, or the Origins version Webster. You can see he's a lot darker in blue. Very similar design, but he has more, has a more pig-like nose. He has more teeth on his face. He actually has no pupils in his eyes. He still has the extra set of eyes up on his head. He still has the dark purple, but it's a very dark purple compared to his cartoon counterpart. He has a completely different backpack, so they didn't just cop out and reuse the same backpack. But essentially what this guy is, he is a reuse of Skeletor's body. He even has the Skeletor boots and legs, which is the way the original action figure came. And I do believe I have done a review for this guy, I think, I'm not too sure. But he has a way different style backpack. His hook is actually done in the same dark purple as his armor, as unlike his cartoon parent apart, which has a bright orange one. And his legs seem to be a little bit on the wobbly side. Especially this one for some reason. So I'm going to see if I can get him to stand. While I do the review with his ca cartoon buddy. So we'll just get you to stand there. So the idea with these cartoon ones is that they're a bit more minimalistic in design. In the sense that the waist joints don't, or the, the belt and the loincloth isn't as sculpted and defined as on the Origins figures because the cartoon had very minimalistic designing anyway. Uh, so his head, his head reminds me a lot. And I I know it was a cartoon way after He-Man, but he reminds me a lot in the head sculpt. If, okay, so yeah, I'll just bring it closer. He looks exactly like one of the gargoyles from Disney's Gargoyles for some reason. He just reminds me of the... The way they did the gargoyles and that, they had the teeth under, kind of underbite with the teeth. And he kind of just reminds me of one of them. Even the red eyes kind of has that gargoyle look to him. But it is, it is Webster, has he appeared in the cartoon show. As I said, he does reuse Skeletor feet. He does, I would imagine these are the same hands and arms that come with Skeletor. In fact, these would be the same arms and hands that come with most of the kind of basic figures so it'd be like you know he-man stratos well no not stratos although animated stratos didn't have the fur on them as much as the figure the uh action figure version of them did so it is possible i don't have animated stratos he's one of the few animated ones that you didn't pick up but i believe if i can get him out there with me a moment i need to make grab someone I do have another, I do have Merman here, so as you can see he does utilize the same legs that Merman has as well. Um, I'm not sure about the upper arms and 
the lower or upper arms are the same but the lower arms are different these i believe would be the same that he-man have has with the kind of gullov sort of look to them but there is one of his cartoon counterpart buddies so you can see they reuse a lot of parts in this line if yeah even if i take off the the belt is actually different he his belt actually has the little nub on it so he does have a different belt and waist piece but the actual um legs are the same and arms to a point and i would imagine the chest if i was to take the chest armor off both of those they'd have the same chest armor that said you're going to be getting the same articulation as most of the line so arms can move around they do splay out when you're moving them up so when you move them back down again they're actually at an angle but that's the way the whole line is designed head is on a ball joint as you can see he does have waist swivel he does have single joint elbows with a swivel a single joint on the wrist with a swivel he has feet that can go forward and back and he can do the splits not much he has a single jointed knee with a swivel on that he does have boot cut and he does have rocker ankles and those as I said those appear to be skeletor style feet in fact is there a there is not i thought there might be a date stamp on him because i know the figures from this line started last year in 23 i believe is when they started kind of coming out i think i could be wrong so i would imagine if they started in 23 the date stamp on most of the parts would be 23 but they were released over the time period so the only other characters I have in the villain's core line of people is we have Evelyn. We'll bring her in because I have her and I did a review recently for her. So we have her, his wave mate. I would, or wave mate, yep, yeah, would be the best way to describe her. This is Evelyn. Who decided to fall flat on her face? Well, we'll just bring in someone else and we'll move all original or origins webster off to the side here you'll probably see him in the corner but we'll bring in other cartoon characters which i have which is trapjaw who is one of my favorite of the villains try and get evelyn to stand up again she is a little bit on the floppy side for my liking but i think it's more i don't know if it's the way she's designed or if it's just the joints of mine is a, are a little on the loose side, so I might need to tighten them up a bit with a little bit of floor polish. There is a trick to doing it, where you get floor polish and you kind of put it into their joints and kind of move, it kind of tightens them up and stiffens them. So I need to do that with a few other figures that are older. But there he is with his wave mate, Evelyn. And just in case you're wondering, I do have the blaster from the Origins version, and he should, in theory, be able to hold it not too bad. So if you want him to look like his kind of classic toy look with the blaster, you can. He can also hold, or sort of hold, the Jaguar statue. So there is kind of spots on it that you can get around his hand. So it is a kind of a weird... He doesn't have any of the flat hands like the other figures. He probably would have been the best to have the flat hand grip with. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So you can kind of get him to hold it. It's a weird accessory anyway. And it's very, it's in a weird posing. So he can hold it. But what I mean about the flat palm. If I just move you around. Put you behind here. Is one of these hands. These flat hands. Um, it would have been maybe a bit more. you A bit more handy for. Uh, Webster to have that style hand so you could kind of cradle it under the statue as opposed to him having just the grip hands because he doesn't actually really have anything he can grip other than the grappling hook you can actually put that in his hand if you have it have enough rope loosened for it so if I just pull it out a bit you can also so you can get, make sure I got enough slack on the rope you can actually have him holding that as well should you want to so again it is a really cool representation of the web server figure um not all the villains were some of my favorite characters webster was one of my favorites trapjaw is one of my favorites merman not so much but i did pick him up uh whiplash 
cartoon version whiplash might be interesting to see because he did always look bigger than the others so i'm not sure if they will go out and make him a bigger looking character than the others i will probably pick up clawful and spike or and then the only other kind of main henchman character that i can think of would be triclops um they haven't i don't think they've announced a filmation style triclops yet excuse me excuse my yawning uh, but i believe they probably will do one down the line at some point in fact that would be like the th third i want to say third iteration of triclops if they do uh, another triclops in the origins line i know there's the original one there was a reissue of that original one and then there was the comic book of one with the kind of weird armor well with his normal armor with kind of white sash going across his chest so there is that so hopefully that will hopefully there will be a filmation style triclops because i think the plan is to get through all the filmation style characters so the car i haven't really picked up any of the heroes i haven't even picked up he-man man in arms or tila which are ones that are out beast man is another one that i haven't picked up which i must course correct that i know he is actually out and i don't have him stratos did come out he came out with the same way this guy did but i didn't pick him up because i'm not a huge stratos fan buzz off if they do make him i will probably definitely get and someone like roboto or raman raman might be an interesting one actually because raman in the cartoon series was tiny compared to everyone else so i wonder if they will completely re-sculpt him from the ground up and give him a whole new body and or just use the armor parts from the previously done like ra uh, mutated raman and just kind of go with the flow and get something together and make him more cartoon looking but he will be one to be uh, watch out for if you are a fan of the filmation style line and see how they actually do that so there you go guys I know I'm kind of waffling here now at the moment, so I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you enjoyed this video of Webster, and as always, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and please hopefully share this with friends and family who you think might you know, be entertained by this or might enjoy this video, because the more, more times you help and share my video around the place, the more likes I get, and the more I can help grow my channel. So, as I said, thanks for your support if you are a subscriber already and if you want please hit that like and subscribe button if you aren't so thanks for watching this hopefully through to the end and as always have a great day cheers thanks guys